Inspiring customers to place an order is a crucial part of running an e-commerce business. However, it's just as important to make sure they buy more than the one product in that order to keep you profitable as your other expenses remain the same, regardless of the basket size. Stay tuned to find out how you can fully automate product discovery on any page of your web shop with Clerk's recommendations. In this video, I will talk about the most important pages to use recommendations on, which product logics to use there and why. You'll see how to create highly converting banner designs that matches your brand. And lastly, you'll learn how to use recommendations insights to identify which logics to focus more on for growing your business. One of the core strengths of Clerk.io's recommendations is the sheer amount of product logics we have, but just as much our knowledge of where to use them best. First, it's important to understand that we as consumers generally behave quite chaotically on the internet. We very rarely go in a neat path from the homepage to the cart, but rather fly around on pages from Google, click on logos, products, go back and then forget what we were there for in the first place. That's why it's so important for you to optimize every single page of the web shop with inspiration in mind. You need to make sure something interesting is shown regardless of where a visitor lands. Let's dive into which pages are most important and what you should show there. First up is the home page. Think of this as the storefront to a physical store. It needs to be interesting, give a good overview of your catalog and draw visitors in to browse more. On web shops though, many customers will go to the homepage after browsing something else. It's basically like having a physical store with like eight entrances on the floor level and multiple elevators from the roof going down. Crazy, right? Oh wait, that's just a mall. Isn't it? Okay, back on track. This is a positive thing for web shops because you can personalize the page with visitor recommendations based on their existing browsing on your store. Take a supplement store. If workout is your thing, the banner would likely show protein powder, creatine, and anything else you need for them gains. While skincare geeks would see creams, lotions, and so on. Your homepage should also show bestsellers and hot products to further open up the catalog. Bestsellers reflect the items that have sold well for a long time, while trends change quickly as products start to differently than they have in the past. Many web shops have large categories with hundreds or even thousands of products in each. This is not a great match for the attention span of the average consumer. That's why using social proof through bestsellers or trends in each individual category is the best way to inspire your visitors to buy the right products. For example, I know next to nothing about American football. Big surprise, I know. So when a friend wished for a new helmet, I was feeling quite lost. Checking the most popular items in the helmets category helps a lot in terms of what to choose. It's the same concept as having reviews for proving that this is the right purchase. This banner is best placed just below the category description before the remaining category products are shown. Then we have your product page. Obviously, this is one of, if not the most important page on the web shop as it's what allows users to, well, actually buy from you. Assuming there's actual interest in the product being viewed, we generally have one of two mindsets on this page. Either we didn't find the exact right one and are now looking for similar items, or we did find the right one and might be looking for accessories. To cater to both mindsets, Clerk has individual banners for automatically showing alternatives and cross-sell products on the same page. With alternatives, you immediately open up your catalog to show the closest matches in different colors, price ranges, and whatever else you have. This is fantastic for increasing your conversion rate and lowering bounce rates. Cross-selling is great for increasing average basket size and adding revenue straight to your bottom line with the best extra products to buy. It's a proven fact that I can also confirm personally that many consumers tend to be okay with paying slightly more for products if they can get all items in one order rather than having to browse a lot of different places to get everything. There's that patience again. The best results usually come from showing alternatives just below the product descriptions and then cross-sell immediately after. Traditionally, web shops tend to do one of the following things after a visitor adds a product to the cart. Either leaving them on the product page wondering what to do next, or almost kick them out by sending them straight to the cart. Neither is really helpful for the visitor or your bottom line. Instead, we recommend adding a middle step. This can take the form of a pop-up or ideally a whole middle page. Amazon has been doing this for more than 20 years with massive success. The add to cart middle step serves three purposes. Visually acknowledging that the product has been added 
to the cart, making it easy to go to checkout, and then lastly, showing the next best products to buy. When using a full page, we recommend showing four specific banners in a flow to emulate the Netflix structure of its homepage, where the categories are highly tailored in the beginning and get progressively more general as you scroll. The first one should be best cross-sell products, matching the product that was just added. Then show visitor recommendations based on the browsing history of the current visitor. Then best sellers to show your whole catalog and what is selling. And lastly, best offers, so you try to sell based on price rather than relevance. If using a pop-up, focus on the best cross-sell products alone with the limited space. You know how you often buy gum and chocolate by the counter in the supermarket, although you did not plan to? Well, it's because it's so easy and it's right there while you're waiting for that ever so slow person in front of you who seems to have all the time in the world. You know the one. If you don't know that person, you likely are that person. You can emulate this on your web shop, but better and less frustrating for visitors. By using cross-sell, Clerk Auto picks a completely unique set of great additional items based on everything currently in the cart. This should be configured to only display items that are relatively cheap, like anything below 25 euros, to catch interest right before checking out. This banner should be located just below the go to checkout button. If you have blogs and articles, you'll likely spend massive amounts of time on research and writing. Make sure that visitors are also notched to buy the relevant items directly from you when they're done reading. Do this with content-related products that automatically identifies what each post is about and finds the very best products to show. It doesn't matter if a visitor reads your post after three days or four years. It's going to show the most relevant items at the moment they read it. Place the banner immediately after the article if you want to include it in a template. But ideally, you should add them somewhere in the middle of the article where it makes sense after a paragraph. There are many more possibilities with our recommendations, but by using this setup, you'll see a great boost in conversion rate and basket size, all fully automated. The most crucial design aspect of using recommendations is visibility. Don't place all your banners in the bottom of your pages where no one sees them, but use them strategically where it makes sense, as we just discussed. In terms of product design, make sure to visualize the important details of each product with a high resolution image, name, price and potential discount, and a call to action button. The design should also match your brand colors and fonts. We also highly recommend using a slider design for most recommendations, where each click on an arrow shows a full new set of products. For example, if you're showing five products at a time, make sure to load 15 products so customers can click and see three sets. This is not the end all approach, but just a good rule of thumb. Ultimately, what really matters is that visitors need to click less to see more products, which always leads to more engagement. You have several ways of designing results in Clerk, from a no-code design editor to fully embedded HTML templates. See much more about this in our video on designing from the link in the description. While Clerk's recommendations automatically adapts to your customer's behavior, keeping an eye on the performance of your individual banners is important for growing. You can do this very efficiently with recommendations insights by comparing the amount of views a banner has with the profit it makes. Maybe you should double down on alternatives on your product page or change up the order of your homepage sliders to focus more on personalized results. Lastly, use merchandising to implement your marketing goals in Clerk's results. A strong method is to send us an indication of the product margin and then boosting all products that you earn the most from selling. Check the dashboards and merchandising videos also in the description for much more info about these functionalities. These are Clerk's best practices for using recommendations. To summarize, we as consumers behave chaotically on the internet, so it's crucial to set up every page of your web shop to inspire visitors to buy. Clerk's recommendations are fully automated and has product logics tailored for any page, like best sellers in each category or alternatives and cross sell on product pages. We recommend using a slider design to allow visitors to see more products with less clicks. And the design should clearly display important product info using your brand colors and fonts. Lastly, the recommendations insights dashboard can be used to monitor the performance of each banner, letting you identify which should get more visibility in order to boost your business. Ultimately, if you want to grow your business by working smarter, not harder, you need Clerk in your tech stack. It's the best way to attract, convert, and retain your customers. So what are you waiting for? 